Happy, happy, happy. What day is it, Marquita? Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. And it's your girl, C Wit, with a C Wit session. What is a C Wit session? I'm so glad you asked. A C Wit session is a pop up interview in a pop up location with a surprise guest. And my surprise guest today is a young lady whom I just met, but I've heard so much about. Her name is Marquita Tigner. Did I get that right? That's right. All right, Marquita, I want to make sure you're in every camera. We got all kinds of cameras going on <laughs> on here. And we are here at Super Scholars Learning Academy right here in beautiful Gary, Indiana. Marquita, I want to start off by just asking where is Super Scholars located at the exact address and how you got started in this amazing ministry that is daycare. Okay, Super Scholars Learning Academy is located at 1735 West 37th Avenue in Gary, Indiana. We're right near the village um, off of Grant Street. Um, great location. Mm -hmm. um, we are accepting new children. So come on down. You can't miss us. Yes. So I will say when I pulled up, immediately the color scheme got me the window and i could kind of peer in briefly and see lots of activities mm -hmm. going on with the young people and um while i am no teacher in that space i'm a professor i know from my sister having owned several daycares in gary over the past years mm -hmm. that it takes a lot of patience yes but it also takes a lot of skill and there are a lot of requirements. Yes. I remember uh, the different types of inspections yes. and things like that. And so as I'm looking around at your facility, it's so clean, it's so bright, and I'll be sure to post lots of pictures. And the children, of course, are beautiful. But Thank talk to you. me about your journey to get to this point, because I know you did some teaching, but now you're on your own. And I have a, a strong place in my heart for entrepreneurs. Okay. Um, so I um, received my bachelor's um, in 2006 in creative in, um, writing. And so I started teaching in the middle school level creative writing. Mm -hmm. um, I liked it, but they were a little too close to my age. Um, <laughs> so I had not established my authority yet. Right. So that's important as a teacher, especially as a new teacher. Mm -hmm. um, Towards the end of the year, one of the um, teachers that were was at the school I was working for, uh, she had gotten sick. And the principal asked if I would take over her class for the remainder of the school year. So I did. She taught first grade. I fell in love with that age group mm -hmm. um, immediately. It was just, it was just an easy um, transition for me. Um, that same year, um, I was expecting with my oldest son, he'll be 14 this year, uh, when I returned after maternity leave, there were no positions available. Oh, no. But how many of you know that God has a way of he planning plan. things mm -hmm. out for you? And so I said, well, you know, I, I need to work. So I'm going to, you know, go ahead and, and take whatever position was available. And the only thing that was available was daycare. <laughs> so I'm, I don't want to work with the babies, mm -hmm. but I did it anyway. And that was in 2008. And I have not wanted to go to any other age group since then. I loved, loved, loved working with that age group. Um, I be, um, became a lead teacher the following year. And so it's almost 15 years um, now that I've been working in child care. Um, I've been an assistant director before. Um, so I kind of had an idea of what it took to run a center. And I said, I can do this. I'm, um, I've been in it long enough. I kind of knew what to expect, what the requirements were, and I just jumped in. Jumped in. That's and, what entrepreneur is about. The entrepreneurship can be about. It's about jumping in. Mm -hmm. And by the looks of this place, let me tell you, she jumped all the way in <laughs> and has done an amazing job. If you're just tuning in, this is a CWIT session with the executive director of Super Scholars Learning Account. Yes. I like to say it like that. <laughs> Because super scholars, just yes. not regular scholars or not just regular students, but super scholars. Super. And so what that conveys to me, Marquita, is that 
there's some learning going on here. Absolutely. And with it being daycare, and I know that you accept students from 12 months to 12 years, so there's some after-school learning going on. Yes. Talk a little bit about the programs that you provide. If I'm a parent and I'm looking for some daycare services or after-school assistance, why should they come to Super Scholars <laughs> Learning Academy? So I try to uh, tell anyone that I talk to that we don't, Say daycare because we're okay. not babysitting the children. It's a learning academy. This is a learning academy. We teach the children um, from 12 months. They start sign language at 12 months. So sign we, language. Yes, we um, teach sign language, um, early Spanish. Um, the children are most importantly. We start our day with praise and worship every day. If we're not doing anything else, we're giving God praise. I love it um, for the day. The children are learning. Um, their letters out of sequence, number recognition, sounds. They're learning um, on different uh, uh, social skills, mm -hmm. how to get along with each other, how mm -hmm. to take turns, how to be patient, how to wait. Mm -hmm. So we're also teaching characteristics. Yes. And, you know how to be kind, how to be um, a good friend, a good neighbor. Yes. Um, joining in, welcoming your friends to come in. Don't mm -hmm. leave them all by themselves. Mm -hmm. So. The children are learning, they're um, excelling. We do projects, of course, the children have homework um, every week. It's age appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, and so far I have gotten so many, um, so many uh, comments from the parents that yeah. they're just appreciative of the time that the staff is taking with the children because we work with them individually as well as small group as activities. Small groups. Mm -hmm. So I have to um, let everybody know that the daycare is approaching its one year anniversary. So I'm doing the math. That means you opened a business in the middle of a pandemic. Yes. Marquita, what were you thinking? And tell me what this was so like and what happened. I've had so many people say, in the middle of a pandemic, you wanna do that? God gave me a vision. And when he gives us a vision, he makes provision. That's right. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. He was the same God before the pandemic. He's the same God after the pandemic, during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. however, and forevermore. And forevermore. So I knew that if um, the transition in getting this building, um, I knew that if he allowed that to happen, then he would bring the children in. Yes. And so I, I told the parents, you know, the safest place for your child is at home. Mm -hmm. But if you need us, we're available to you. Yes, because there were some parents who were, who are essential work, uh, apprehensive uh -huh. and, and essential, essential workers, workers yes. who needed somewhere mm -hmm. to take their children that was safe and also had the curriculum. Because yes. you certainly, like you said, we don't babysit here mm -hmm. at Super Scholars Learning Academy and the technology and just the trust factor. Yes. So right now we are filming in what Marquita has told me is called the overflow. The overflow. That's the overflow that you are mm -hmm. experiencing with business. And uh, mm -hmm. is there a waiting list? What's what's the situation right now with Super Scholars? So there was a waiting list um, for our preschool class. And I had parents that just continued to call and continued <laughs> to call. And I kept saying, I'm so sorry. I don't have anything at the moment. But what? I'm going to take your information. And, you know, as soon as I have something available, I'll let you know. So we... Um, you know, kept their information. And after too many calls, mm -hmm. I had to figure something out. And so because that's the, also money calling. Yes. I mean, I'm just putting my entrepreneur Absolutely. hat on. That's money calling. We got to meet the needs. So the spacing that I had available was for the toddlers, mm -hmm. the, our one-year-olds, two-year-olds. But I was giving, getting so many calls for my three, four, five-year-olds. So I was able to, with the approval of the state, make some transitions. I mean, it was quickly that quick. They didn't even have to come out and do an inspection, which I will say, uh, when they came into the initial inspection, they said that this was the easiest inspection they've done in a I very bet. long time. I so bet. I was grateful for that. Yes, congratulations. Thank I mean, you. where we're sitting, you can already mm -hmm. tell with the backdrop and all the numbers and colors. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna post some pictures and video mm -hmm. because every room we walked into even the restrooms everywhere. There are bright colors, and we know that our children need to be stimulated. Yes. And so you have created that environment. How long did it take you to get up and running, like the renovation and everything? And give the address again for people just tuning in. Okay, the ad address for Super Scholars is 1735 West 37th Avenue in Gary, Indiana, 
um, right by the village off of Grant Street. And um, it took a while. Um, so the building was purchased um, in, and say that again, purchased. We're not renting. Praise the Lord. I love <laughs> in the it. middle purchased. of the pandemic. Yes. Purchased in August. And so. Of 2020? Of 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we started um, immediately with renovations. Um, our families came in, my children, everyone came <laughs> in. Pick a wall and start painting. Let's start painting. All my father on put in all the flooring. Pretty much everything that's done in the building, um, our family did it. So it took a while to get it done. We we wanted it to be right because mm -hmm. um, I could have done it the way that it was, and that's not. So was this a learning facility prior to? Prior to, okay. um, it had been closed for a while. Okay, and so um, I just wanted. Something fresh. Yes, yes. Somewhere where I would want to have my own children. Right. And you that's know. always the question you ask as a business owner, period. Mm -hmm. Would I use my own services? Mm -hmm. And here I'm thinking, and this answer is a resounding yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes, indeed. And actually, my children do attend here. <laughs> um, my four year old is, um, she's in one of the, the first preschool class. Mm -hmm. She'll be going to kindergarten. And my seven year old, he comes to after school. Okay. My oldest son, he was in after school until he turned 13. And he's, he's, too, old he's too old now. He's too old now. But he's working with us <laughs> because when you go to the Facebook page for Super Scholars Learning Academy, look at the logo. It was designed by her son. Yes. So that's just the uh, example of the talent that's coming out of your facility. Yes. Absolutely. So I'm excited about um, where we're going. Um, we are not even a year into um, operating, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with Paths to Quality, but that's a program that the state sets up. What is it called again? Paths to Quality. Paths to Quality. Okay, get us familiar with it. Paths to Quality us. is a program the state has set up for parents who are looking for child care. It differentiates different quality of child care. Okay. So, because we don't all need the same thing necessarily, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. So the higher up you are in the levels, the more the state will recommend parents to your facility. Okay. So, so most, where are you at the top? Most. <laughs> <laughs> we're not yet. We're getting there. Okay. Most centers, it takes about a year to, to do one level. And we're at level two. So, level two, yeah. and it's not even a year yet. I uh, love it. So we were able to fast track. Okay. Um, and then after all the people who are watching, share this video, Instagram and Facebook, Facebook, and we'll be YouTubing it and everything. We love to see businesses thrive in the city of Gary. Yes. And so we know there's a need for what you are doing. And so again, if there are parents watching, um, what are the first steps that they need to do? They need to call, do they need to fill out a form online? And what are some of like the requirements when those spaces open up here at the Academy? So they can give us a call. Um, the paperwork is, is super simple. Um, they can come out and fill, fill out paperwork. Basically, you would do an enrollment packet, um, birth certificate, immunization records, um, or a vaccination decline because we're having a lot of parents who are choosing to opt out of vaccines mm -hmm. um, and the reg just the registration packet is super super simple um, if you enroll um, you get one week of child care for free okay so you can come and kind of get a feel for you know what it's like yes um, we have a few part-time students I have part-time students who immediately wanted to transfer to Full time after their child had been here. Yes. Um, so the process is very simple. Um, just give us a call. We'll get your baby in. And what's that number? 219-487-5270. Or you can email us at superscholars learning academy at gmail.com super scholars learning academy <laughs> now we have one more important topic that we must address you have an event coming up this yes. weekend that features once again to mm -hmm. my heart entrepreneurs only this time we're featuring our kid entrepreneurs so it's kidpreneurs yes talk to me about this program where it's going to be and how it all came about we're featuring our young business leaders so we're always looking um, for different ways to advertise our business since we are a new business. A lot of people don't know about us yet. And so I thought that that would be a unique way to get people out from the community to 
um, meet the staff, meet the director, um, get information about the school, and also um, celebrate and support um, children entrepreneurs. Yes. We always go to businesses for, you know, events for older um, mm -hmm. We go to all the pop-up pop shops. Mm -hmm. I said, no, we're going to do it just for children. Everyone loves kids, yes. you know, so they'll, so they're going to the buy and support. figure out yeah. Yeah, what to do. So um, that's going to be Sunday, this Sunday coming up mm -hmm. from one to three at the Dean and Barber White Community Center in Maryville. And you already know, CWIT will be on the scene. Yes. We're going to broadcast live. We'll get the opportunity to introduce and interview some of these young entrepreneurs. And I'm going to bring my PayPal, Cash App, <laughs> Sale, Cash, whatever they're accepting. There'll be face painting there, music. Um, is it free fun. to get in? It is free to get in. Okay. I'll make sure that I post about this. I'm going to share the flyer. Um, what made you come up with the idea? I mean... Are there students enrolled here who happen to have businesses or where did the angle come from? Um, actually, I had just been thinking of unique things. I love, love, love to plan events. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm always thinking of very creative things to do. And so I thought that that would be something that was different. Six of our scholars will be at the Kidpreneur with the table. Um, some of them did not have businesses. They just made something okay. up just so they can have That's a table. That's how it all That's starts. So fine. And um, we do have um, one child in our center that have, does have his own clothing line. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. So we do have entrepreneurs. We're raising entrepreneurs. And I think that um, this is going to be an awesome time. They're super children. So yes. they're, they're super, super scholars. Super, super scholars. They're going to be super <laughs> entrepreneurs. And it's going to be a great time. Well, I will remind everyone. Mm -hmm. And they know you will hear from me. I will be pushing this information out in a mighty way. One for the center itself. If you need child care, if you need after school services, and you want to come to a facility that's so bright and it's so clean in here. Thank you. And I feel like I, I don't, I'm not a parent of a toddler or anything, but I'm thinking in their mindset when you walk in, you want to be able to leave your child somewhere that I want to, I want to play in here. I want to play some games and things like that. And I saw your staff, they were very polite. I have to shout out your mom. She, I know she says, I'm a silent <laughs> part. I just come up here and hang out. But Kathy is also a critical part of the team. And I will let you know, she's my friend and she is your number one cheerleader. Yes. Your mom mm -hmm. is so proud of you. I'm sure your father is too, but I know for a fact, straight from the source, Mm -hmm. how proud she is of you and she wanted to ensure that your facility was highlighted i see one of our friends our viewers yeah. lori hayes is saying I congratulations Hi, uh, entrepreneur <laughs> yes and so i invite lori and everyone who's watching to come out to the kidpreneur we can offer advice to our young people as they're yes. starting their businesses and selling their items and just supporting them on sunday April 10th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at the Dean and Barbara White Center. It's a new facility yes. on in Maryville Beautiful. on Broadway. I think it's like the 6700 block of Broadway yes. or somewhere in there. But you know I'll be sharing that information with you. Before we close out this CWIT session, I would like for you to give me some words of encouragement. Not me, mm -hmm. but someone who is, they're teetering right now. They're like, Oh, I'm watching this video. <laughs> oh, she opened hers during a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to do it. What would you say to him or her? I would say, don't give up. It, it sounds cliche, but I was looking for probably about six or seven, almost seven years looking for a business. And there were times that I wanted to give up. And I said, well, maybe this is not what God has for me. Mm -hmm. And God said, just because it's a no, it doesn't mean that's the door tied to your yes. Oh, that's powerful. So oh. even though they said no, they said no, they said no, that just wasn't the door tied to your yes. So just keep, you know, pushing, keep striving, don't give up, you know, keep fighting and it will happen in, in its timing and um, just just keep going. Well, don't I get discouraged. I echo your sentiments mm -hmm. as a fellow entrepreneur. And I want to say I am I am thoroughly impressed with your establishment. You. And I'm the type of person who I'm very careful about what I endorse, mm -hmm. you know, what I tied my name to. And I loving Kathy, you knew I was gonna come by, mm -hmm. but once I got here, I was like, 
Okay. <laughs> I see what she means. And I also perused your Facebook page. So I'm inviting everybody to be sure to go on Facebook and follow Super Scholars Learning Academy. I see where Mayor Prince popped in. What yes, was that about? Did. How about that? You know, we were doing um, Black History Celebration in the school. And so we wanted, we were talking about Black leaders in the community. And so we invited him to come and just tell him thank you for his work in the community. He came out and spoke to the children, got to tour the facility, and um, the children enjoyed it. And he, I'm sure. Yeah, it was a nice time. That's a nice gesture. And I'm sure that we can be expecting more events and things. Since you said you like to plan events, it. we will <laughs> be watching. Sometimes I go over the top, but that's okay. I love over the top. I'm, I'm super extra, so... I'm in the right place. Mm -hmm. We are here at the Super Scholars Learning Academy located at 1735 West 37th Avenue. Yes. Did I get it right? Yes, you did. And for us Garyites, we're over here behind the Village Shopping Center. You know where it is, behind the Village. You can't miss the bright colors and you can't miss this bright, beautiful face who's at the helm of this establishment. She is none other than Marquita Tigner. I am asking you to take a look at this facility if you have childcare or after school needs. And she's getting your scholars ready for wherever they're headed in life, whatever school district they're going to. This is the foundation. Would you agree? I agree. All right. Strong Absolutely. foundations yes. right here. Well, you have been watching a CWIT session with Chelsea Whittington. AKA C Wit. We're again here at Super Scholars Learning Academy in Gary, Indiana with Marquita Tigner. Thank you so much for this Thank interview. Thank you. God bless you and well wishes. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.